give us a bit of an insight into how you see the state of the, the industry and the prospects going forward? The industry is in uh, a situation at the moment where we have a lack of skills and there's great potential for this automation and inspiration industry in this country but the situation is that skills shortage is directly affecting what impact we can have in the market. There's massive a potential for us to, uh, to beneficiate our minerals in this country that requires manufacturing capability. Manufacturing capability can become competitive if it's fully automated like they're doing in, Ameri in America, bringing jobs back from the East by using automation to become a low cost producer. Unfortunately, our labor costs are too high, hence we don't have large manufacturing in this country. So regarding the skills challenge that, that's limiting us from harnessing those opportunities is we need better alignment of what the universities are producing as an end product into the industry. And to get better, better alignment, the industry needs to have more influence over what the curricula at the universities are. And it needs to be a certain amount of practical components to this curricula because they, you cannot rely any longer on industry taking the responsibility to train university graduates in the basics that they should understand, particularly for automation and control because that is not a recognized discipline by Engineering Council South Africa. It falls on the electrical engineering and we need more automation control professionals. They need to come out of university as automation and control professionals, not spend three years being trained by a private entity at their cost and their risk to become an automation control professional. So that's uh, the state of an industry at this moment. We need more government intervention to assist us in achieving our objectives.